it doesn't expect any visitors at this time. Loves new people. All right, this is the the coffee machine. This is our uh, our Jura. Actually, a gift uh, for my mom and me and my dad. Pretty much use it like two or three times a day. For some some coffee addicts. But uh, this is the first step of the day. Wake up, get some coffee going, and then uh, I'll make a tiny breakfast here in a sec. So we've got like espressos. Give you hot water, hot water for green tea, double espressos, just regular coffee. It's a little mini Starbucks, cappuccinos. Like when I wake up, I just get a regular cup of coffee. But uh, during the day, I'll do like a double espresso, like before I go and teach in the afternoon. And uh, then I'm set. I usually do like a, like a rice cake and uh, just like a little bit of peanut butter and some honey and like that's that's just enough for me. I normally get up, train 6 a.m. Um, I'm usually up at 5, 5.30, uh, sometime between there and uh, I'm at the gym at 6 uh, training and uh, today uh, today I'm not doing that 6 a.m. class and we're just going straight to, uh, to 7 a.m. which is like straight to comp, straight to the, the rounds. And uh, after that, I'll do another training with uh, Professor Gee, where it's just more of like a study class based on uh, the competition training and uh, things that we could have fixed. And then uh, after that, we'll move on to the other training sessions for the day and, and get on with the day. Lighter training today. So basically the last week of training, we train really hard throughout the whole week. Uh, Friday now so normally we do regular rounds but like I try to lower the intensity I try to uh, not make the very competitive rounds and uh, the next class will be more technical I'm really happy with the results that we're having and really happy with the I think like how we are training and how united the team is like everyone like pushing forward a lot of people with the same goal same dream and uh, I'm very happy with the with the group the best that we have ever had and uh, I think it will only get better from now, from now on. I'm feeling great. Uh, this is pretty much like the final week before the competition. I've been preparing uh, for a while now. And uh, again, just I uh, continue to improve my Jiu Jitsu, continue to excel my, uh, my techniques to the next level. And uh, this is just another day for me and another competition coming up. I feel good about pants. <clears throat> Every time uh, I believe I sign up for the competitions, like, I'm confident when I'm going in, I have a good preparation. I, I take care uh, uh, well of my body and I have a good team behind me. That, uh, so I have pretty much every tools that I need to go out there and perform once again. And uh, yes, I'm just excited to, to step on the mats and uh, display my jiu-jitsu. I think the environment uh, is super tough, right? Because you have like many people with a highly worked ethic, you know, like they're training like four or five times a day, plus teaching. Uh, what I used to train, like people maybe will train at most twice, twice a day. And it's not like uh, the group going in the same direction, you know. So I feel here you have people with the same goal as you, and makes everything easier. And also you have uh, Professor Guy and Hafa, they, they already achieved what I want to achieve. And beyond that, like uh, beyond the titles, also how to run a business, a successful academy, and so on. So I'm very lucky to have like a mentor to help me to 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 do my steps in in this world. I, I love it. I love, I love competing. I love it like I challenge myself. I've been competing for so long and like, winning for so long, but I think the performance, you know, trying to get my jiu-jitsu better, trying to improve my jiu-jitsu. I still feel that a lot of to improve, a lot of improvement, and be able to test the to test it in the competitions for me as well makes sense. And then it's still young, so I want to compete in like, you know, quite a long time still. Professor Gee has been pushing us really hard, so yeah, looking forward for, for pants and performance well there. I 
I think since being here and relocating to West Coast, I am finding a lot more consistency in my training and my mindset. Few incidents so far. <laughs> so I'm quite excited to see what this year will bring. Hopefully some more consistency to the competition's time. Now I'm pretty like a very like a, how can I say comfortable. Uh, I'm, I'm not pressure like anything I, kind of like that. But yeah, for sure I go for the gold and I'm gonna pressure everybody over there. I believe like I have a good game for the division like this time, so I have uh, tough opponents. But uh, I think like my, my, my game will fit very well to the division for this year. And then uh, for the open class, I just wanna I wanna be testing myself. Challenge, I wanna challenge myself. There are some people I wanna compete against. I've competed against most of the guys. Uh, from the wave division above, wave division below, and uh, I just want to be competing against all of them. Today uh, we did uh, five minute rounds, and then uh, towards the end, Professor Guy has been uh, doing this type of training where uh, usually, like we would do, would do uh, like rounds in the middle. So we'd have like two people going in the middle, trying to create that, uh, that competition scenario where there's pressure from people watching and stuff. And uh, lately he's been doing it to where he'll put multiple groups in the middle. Still people watching the outside, so you still feel the pressure of people watching. But rather than knowing how much time you have, like you don't know if you're going to stay another round or if he's going to put somebody in or if he's going to give you a break. So uh, that's been kind of the challenge he's been giving us to where like you don't have the time to look back on and, and give you that, uh, that sense of uh, security and knowing that, you, that the round is almost over, you're about to get your break. So uh, he's been having us go in the middle, we'll put you with somebody that you normally train with in a regular tough training session, and then uh, depending on if you finish them or not, sometimes if you get the finish, he'll uh, let you have the break and make the person that lose stay in the middle. Um, other times he'll say, no, keep going, or uh, he'll make the person that taps go sit down and then you have to go another round. So it's kind of kind of up to him on how tough the training is, and uh, today was one of those days where it didn't matter how many times you finished them, he would keep putting people in uh, if he had to. Uh, so I had I had one round uh, with Josh. Uh, Josh had been training with uh, the entire session, so he put us together again. And he's been making me train with these heavier people like this. I think just giving me a new challenge. I think especially since I'm fighting at lightweight now, he wants me to get to a point where I feel comfortable fighting with these guys at middleweight, medium heavy, heavyweight. Uh, there's a lot of big guys here training now, so uh, I have a lot of good training partners to train with. That way, whenever I go to the competition and I'm fighting in the lightweight division, uh, it feels like a whole nother ball game. So. Thank you guys. I'm gonna show you guys something that I think is the first time that we're we're showing to you guys and we normally don't post much but uh, this is kind of like the behind the scenes of what oh, happened yes. at AOJ. I'm gonna introduce you guys to Mason first. So Mason is uh, the creative director for AOJ. Did you tell them about the new series yet or no? No, not yet. You can show them. Yeah, so we're actually just releasing a new series, which is something that we were working on um, at the end of last year, kind of leading into this year when Tynan and uh, had a super fight announced. But uh, we're actually releasing today, so it's kind of like a, a big, important day. Let me show you guys a little bit of like the mood board here and the, and the wall. So it will be cool for you guys to understand. It will be, uh, this is part of the instruction, so you guys uh, are kind of spying inside of what uh, we're gonna we're gonna do, but uh, 
these notes are here are the matches that Tainan studied for the match against uh, against Izaki. So you guys like this is just one example. Like we compare here to Rodolfo Vieira and Bernardo, like similar style. Bernardo does a similar type of sweep that Izaki does. And then you can see Leandro using against Izaki, Tainan using against Izaki, and Rodolfo using with uh, Bernardo. Show you the trailer. Look. Is the trailer can I play? Mm -hmm. In this instruction, we showcase our work and preparation to one of Tainan's most dominant performances. Yeah. The more you know your opponent, the easier it is for you to make decisions during the match. For the first time ever, we share how we think, how we train, and how we prepare ourselves for competitions at the highest level. So instead of fighting his underhook back, I go ahead and I underhook his leg trapping his arm under my armpit, where he cannot progress any deeper in the position. In this course, we provide an inside look at how we analyze opponents, how we study jiu-jitsu, recognize patterns, and much more. Throughout the whole competition career in the color belt, we have been studying every little way the uh, one was. Get ready to study and improve your jiu-jitsu. Available now on AOJ+. Plus. It shows not just the uh, a skill on the mat, like with techniques, but it shows the probably like it will be the first one that really shows uh, my coaching skills. You know, it's something that only the athletes uh, that work with me can see. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to my garage. Uh, I'm here with my sunny crew, and uh, we're gonna throw a little workout in. I hope you guys enjoy it. My first workout with Tanya at his house. Nice. We'll do it. You gonna put up some big weight? Hopefully. <laughs> I'll do some uh, chest today and uh, a little bit of arms as well. So you guys will see it. I'll alternate with him. Yeah. Same weight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I work out every day. Uh, three times a, a week I lift and uh, three times a week I do cardio. Okay. So you guys see there's a treadmill. So usually I do cardio on the treadmill for three times and then three times lifting. So like six days a week. Um, I usually work out at home on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays I'm at Proactive, which is uh, where we usually train at. So it's Professor Tan started training more at home now recently, so he hasn't been going as much. But that's where I usually train, but today is gonna gonna be at Tina's house, no practice. Nice. I don't mind getting sore, but I like lifting. <laughs> the sore part sucks, but I don't mind. Uh, I think it's kind of like part as a, as like maintenance to my body. So I'm not really those guys that will lift like super heavy. You know, like I find like for my division, I'm I'm pretty strong. Like I like my strength. I just do more like maintenance to my body. You know, just try stay active, keep working out. I, I do follow like there's a training program that my coach builds it for me and like there, there are some days that I have to lift it heavy but uh, I focus more on the jiu-jitsu I think like it's more important for me as a jiu-jitsu athlete. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta keep like motivated and give some encouragement. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. Scream at me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man there was that one Grand Prix there was a guy screaming. <laughs> See you on the next episode.